The MD News Network recently visited Nashville, Tennessee to attend the Healthcare Information and Management Systems Society's Summit of the Southeast. At the HEMS conference, we had the rare opportunity to speak with physicians, politicians, hospital CEOs, CMIOs, and CIOs, as well as HEMS executives and healthcare information system vendors. We spoke with them about a number of things, including the present and future of electronic medical records, how physicians are shaping the future of healthcare, hospital progress and EHR implementation, and computer physician order entry, and much more. Here's what our cameras captured. You know, we're a standalone, um, freestanding hospital, and um, we wanted to make sure that, that we were um, in line and on, on page uh, with regards to satisfying meaningful use. So um, that very, obviously, that hastened um, our efforts. Um, we also employ a number of physicians and then have um, an equal number, in fact, a bigger number of community physicians that are out there in, that, that work with us in our hospital. Um, so once we decided upon a vendor, um, and we vetted out um, who that would be with, with a core group of decision makers, including uh, employed and community physicians. Uh, once we made that decision, we very quickly um, uh, shored up uh, an action plan, an implementation plan. And um, uh, to be quite candid with you, um, we accelerated that even uh, upon making the decision um, at the um, request of the physicians. So. Um, everybody, once they made the commitment to, to be a part of this, um, and once we um, agreed to help our employed physicians and our community physicians with um, what we can offer up as far as software expense, um, they basically wanted to go ahead and move forward and get through with it, um, largely because they, they saw what the backside benefit would be when it was completed. Um, and so it was important to, for us, I guess uh, the point that I would like to make is it's, it was important to us to show realistically what the finished product would look like, uh, to show where we would be when it's all said and done, at least defining all said and done as an implemented system. So um, we're there, um, and our physicians are now um, integrated with each other, um, integrated with our hospital in, in a large way, and as a result, I believe, providing um, much more efficient um, quality care uh, to the patients that they serve. Me personally, I got into the area because I, um, when I got out of residency, we had a very forward-thinking professor who talked a lot about information technology, and of course, we were all using technology, but there wasn't a lot of, lot of technology in healthcare at that time. So 10 years ago, we started a practice, um, I and another partner, and we implemented EMR at that time. Um, in, over the course of the next three years, we ended up selling to the hospital, so they acquired um, our EMR and at that time they started really thinking about EMR and healthcare technology within their organization. Um, so now we actually have a plan where we're implementing um, EMRs within all of the hospital's uh, outpatient practices. Uh, we're about halfway through with that project. Um, at the same time that we started doing that, they started talking about it down in the inpatient world. They have implemented McKesson and are and have had that for probably three to four years now and now they are going forward with CPOE which is um, physician order entry um, and we're in the middle of that project so over the next 18 months we'll implement uh, CPOE within our McKesson product. When you talk about EMR, Covenant has been using clinical documentation and uh, medication administration systems since 2004 we were a part of the McKesson Clinical Leadership Program dating back to 2002-2003. So we've been playing on the leading edge of that. When you talk about the CPOE aspect of it, we are just now, just for various prioritizations and things, just now getting to where we will have the dependent foundation put in place and then the uh, certified platform. McKesson is about to, uh, to get their certification. So in 2012, mid to late 2012, we'll be moving to that platform and continue on with the clinical transformation, adding CPOE to the mix. For the hospital, we've been working on our hospital EMR for several years and we're in pretty good shape from that perspective. This past year we have begun rolling out an ambulatory EMR for our physician practices and one of the biggest challenges we face, which is not unusual for large health systems, is now we have two different EMRs on two different platforms, and so we're going to have to look at how do we integrate that data 
to create that continuous record and make it easier for the physicians to get access to the data from both records. So that's an, also another big undertaking that we have there. Now that you've heard the HIMSS conference attendees' opinions, we want to know what you think. Click on Share Your Perspective at mdnews.com to let us know.